So it's legitimate to say, scientifically, there's some organizing principle in the universe that can get us to where we are. To codes. To codes. It, it, we, and, can, we can have a, it's a legitimate hypothesis. Legitimate hypothesis. Yeah. So, and one pursuit it then would be go look for naturally occurring codes. Right. So what about uh, rock crystalline structures and snowflakes and such? Those have a lot of order to them, right? Yes. How do they? Okay, so, so let's, talk, let's talk about this. Let's go back to our communication system. So we have our encoder, our code, and we have our decoder. And so let's go back to our computer keyboard. Okay. In the keyboard, there's a table. And the table says A equals 1000001. Zero, 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 one. Right? Mm -hmm. And that's the encoding table, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, in your computer, there's a decoding table. One zero 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 one equals A, mm -hmm. right? Encode, decode, A, A, with one zero zero one in the middle, right? Mm -hmm. And I can, in B, C, D equals B, C, D, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so if something is a code in a communication system, then I can draw this diagram for it. Okay, and th th this is symbols. There, there's a symbolic, there, there's, there's a symbol that's being transferred. That's fundamental to the concept of information? Yes. It's a symbolic, it's a symbolic, a symbolic relationship. Okay, okay. so in a, in, in, a, in a computer keyboard cable, it's voltages going up and down, mm -hmm. okay? In a wireless internet system, it's, it's radio signals with ones and zeros in them. On a hard drive, it's north, south, north, <laughs> south. Right, magnetic. North, okay, it's on a physical, right? So, right. you know, the electrons, light, fiber optic cables, hard drives, whatever. There's a physical medium that is used symbolically. In DNA, A, C, G, T are used as symbols, okay? And they are literal symbols. They're not sort of like symbols. It's a literal code. It's not sort of like a code. Okay, so now to your question. If I want to find a naturally occurring code, it has to fit this model. Okay. Okay, so. so I'm starting to become skeptical about snowflakes. Okay, so, well, so let's take sunshine. Okay. All right, here's the sun, and light is going to the earth, or let's, let's say, just, let's say it's going to Mars. Okay, since there's no life on Mars, let's just keep it clean. Okay, is the sunlight traveling to Mars a code? Now, it has a spectrum, and it has certain frequencies and everything like that that could be identified as sunlight. But can we draw this table for this system? I can't think of what the symbology would be. What is the symbology? A, a code is a system of symbols mm -hmm. for communication. Is there anything symbolic here? Is there anything that represents anything other than itself? Beams of light with a certain spectrum, that's it. Mm -hmm. Now, a person with a spectrum analyzer could, could capture this light and go, oh, that's the spectrum of the sun. Mm -hmm. But they have to do that intelligently. Mm -hmm. And they could say, well, OK, there's, here's what the sun is comprised of based right. on that spectrum. Right. 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 So. Is, isn't that encoded in the, in the being? Well, you could say that, but there's no decoding until an intelligent being shows up. Okay. Nothing's been decoded at all until an intelligent person interprets this data. Now, in DNA, encodes and decodes all by itself, whether anybody watches it or understands it or not. But Mars is not decoding the sunlight. The sunlight reaches it, and it bounces, or it absorbs, and that's it. So there's no information if there's no decoder? Right. There has to be an encoder, 
and a decoder and a code for there to be information in a communication system. That's what you have to have. So when I say to people, okay, solve the atheist riddle, show me a code that's not designed, they have to show me a system like this that's not designed. And this is not that system. It has a superficial resemblance to it, but that's not what it is. Or how about a snowflake? Okay, cool. I guess, I guess it's got to and be, it's right? Gotta be <laughs> right. It's got to be symmetrical. Right. <laughs> okay, snowflake. Now, how is that a code? How do, how do you map a snowflake to the system and say, what's the encoding table? What's the decoding table? There must be some seed of a pattern in that snowflake that's right. getting replicated, right? Well, Isn't that water seed? crystals, right? Right. So a water crystal has six sides, and then chaos theory explains how it, it grows with symmetry, and it forms a snowflake. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't represent anything other than itself. Mm -hmm. Nothing is symbolic. There's no symbolic relationship. Gotcha. Okay. And so you have you have a chasm in the world. You have you have there's a there's a chemical or physical or physics explanation for this oh, yeah. symmetry. Yeah. Likewise, in the spectrum analysis of the sun, I understand the hydrogen right. absorption lines mean there's hydrogen. There's nothing that's symbol symbolizing hydrogen. It is yeah. the hydrogen that's yeah. causing those absorption lines. Right. Okay. Right. Whereas, whereas a voltage on your wire that says one zero 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 one. And that means A. That voltage is not A. That's it's just arbitrary. It's just a medium. And there's no chemical or physical reason it has to be one zero 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 one. Right. right. So this is all. Right. It is what it is. It does what it does. There's nothing arbitrary over here. It follows rules that you can't derive from the laws of physics, and and they are arbitrary, and they are very particular and specific in this instance. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if somebody wants to solve the atheist riddle, they have to show that one of these occurs naturally. Now, the atheist riddle is? The atheist riddle is, show me a code that was not designed. It's naturally occurring. Just one. Including all the symbols right. that's been defined. Right. That's got to be there. That's all be you need is code. one example. Somebody goes, DNA is the example. No, you don't know the origin of DNA. Yeah. Show me when you know the origin of it. Show me that the laws of physics, all by themselves in normal chemical natural processes, produce a system like this. And so far, other than what humans have created, right. or and maybe a dog or a bird, right? You know, bark means I need to go out, right? Yeah. Uh, it doesn't mean I'm going out. Or there's a symbology there, isn't uh -huh. that true? Sure. But other than that, DNA is sure. the only code known. Sure. I mean, right. you know, um, cicadas buzzing and crickets chirping are codes. But they all, all right. derive from DNA. Yeah, right. And they're hardwired. Right. Right? You know, crickets don't like make up all this other stuff. <laughs> right. Right? Humans do. Right. Okay. Right. So is that gotcha. clear? Gotcha. So this is the challenge.